What you really want is to be up there. In the above world. Is that even possible? It's what I live for. She doesn't stand a chance. Disney's The Little Mermaid. Rated PG in theaters May 26. Hey, Ivy. Hey. Needed a breather, too? Totally. Get it. Lots of hormonal teenagers. It's getting crazy in there. Yeah, it really is. So, how are you feeling since... Oh, I'm doing okay. I'm starting treatment soon. I'm really sorry for freaking you guys out. No way. I'm glad you're getting the help you need. We can't push stuff like that under the rug. So, uh, Finn... Have you seen him anywhere? I thought he'd be here. He took off a little early for winter break. To go where? San Francisco to see Kylie. Oh. He gave me this. He asked me to give this to you. Thanks. I saw you out there with Kara. Uh, yeah. I apologize to her, and I should really apologize to you, too. I mean, I shouldn't have ruined your relationship with her. I'm sorry if you felt like you had to hide your relationship with Kara from me. I wish we could trust each other like we used to. Listen, I've given you no reason to trust me. I kind of just projected my own insecurities on both you and Kara. It's not your fault, okay? At least now there's nothing to hide. Aw, it doesn't feel so great to be on the other side of things, does it? Think about all the hearts you've broken. I am. <laughs> I think you and I should write apology letters to the entire cheerleading squad. That's your task going into next season. Um. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about next season. So, you know Mr. Crane, the scout from Robinstown, right? Of course I do. Well, he wanted me to talk to you. What about? He's gonna be working with me, getting me ready for college ball, and we were just talking and we just realized that something was missing. What's that? You. I mean, Mr. Crane, he really feels like we should train together, that we bring out the best in each other. I mean, I showed him your highlight reel from the preseason, and he's impressed. He says Provincetown will be lucky to have the both of us. But I quit. Yeah. I mean, he talked to Coach Bailey. I mean, everyone wants you back on the team. I mean, I promise you, this time it's going to be different. There's going to be no secrets, okay? This is the future, Bailey. Our future. I, I don't know what to say. Just think about it, okay? I'd love to play with you again. And then Kara told me Ben apologized to her and she turned him down. I'm glad. It was about time Ben started respecting girls. I'm proud of Kara for turning him down. No offense, but boys are dumb. <laughs> One benefit of being lesbian is that girls are way less confusing. I don't know about that. <laughs> but Ben needs to start learning some of these lessons on his own. No one can fix that for him. Kara made the right choice for herself, and that's all that matters. I'm proud of her. I'm proud of you. You showed up to regionals. You made up your mind and finally picked a side. I need to talk to you about that. Um, I want you to be the first to know I'm going back to football. 
You're quitting the dance team? I'm taking a break. For now. For football? Yeah, football. If that's where you want to be, then I'm happy for you. But if those guys mess with you... I'll take care of them. I know, but I really liked being teammates with you. Huh? Come on, let's head back. We should probably talk about, you know... Theo, I don't know why I said I love Finn. Maybe I was just confused. Or maybe I... I don't know. I get it. It's tricky being someone's ex. I know I'm not used to it. Me and Petra are on a break. But we're still kind of connected. It's not so easy to just throw it away. Yeah. I don't want to be in the way of you and Finn. If there are still feelings there. I don't want to be in the way of you and Petra. So, where does that leave us? I don't know. Why don't we just take some time to figure it out? This all happened so fast. Yeah, I think some time wouldn't be a bad thing. Ivy, I just want to say, I hope it's not too much time. Share with the chicken girls, at least not yet. Wasn't that your whole thing? I was really jealous of Harmony when we were in middle school. She was following in Rhyme's footsteps, and I still believe in the chicken girls, but I just don't think it's us. Does that mean we can be the poppy seeds? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Real talk, I don't know what we're calling ourselves, but me, you, Belle, Claire, we're friends, and high school just started, so give it time. You're right. See? Always a first for something. Come on, let's go dance. Can't believe it's already time to set up for next season. And we're two dancers down, again. I know. I'm starting to think we might be cursed. Whoever has your voodoo doll needs to chill. <laughs> Bailey told me about Ben's big speech at homecoming. Oh god, I know. I say, too little, too late. It's crazy. This whole time I thought he was trying to hide me. Turns out he was hiding from himself. As your teammate, I can guarantee you're never the problem. And it's not all your fault. Of course, that's where your brain will go. Exactly. So now what? Are you two? I don't think so. Um, you know that quote, when people show you who they are, believe them? Maya Angelou. Love that one. I feel like the blinders are finally coming off, you know? I get that. I don't want a dreamy romance. I want someone who can show up for me. I think with the right person, you can have both. I know I seem tough, but I'm a secret romantic. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Dear Ivy, a long time ago you asked me about my poetry, but I never got a chance to show you any of it. Maybe because I never thought I had anything worth sharing. But now I do. Funny how fake romance can do that to a guy. Or maybe it's all the Taylor Swift you have noticed and do. Here it goes. A house vacant and alone, content to be separate, content to observe life happen around it. Until one day, Ivy grew up at sides. The house watched as green life splashed against the dim exterior and pushed its insides away, nestling in like kisses on cheeks. With each new day, the house became curious, wanting to know where the ivy would go next. Until one day, the house was no longer alone. Together, they became something different, something better, something beautiful. Before you, I was just happy to float through my time here. But then you arrived, and suddenly I had a reason to like being here. You rooted me to a place that never felt like home before. 
And then I started meeting other people and they were going through hard things. And it made me realize that we've all got problems and the only way we can solve these problems is by finding each other. I'm so glad you and your friends found each other and I'm so grateful you found me. So I'll see you when I'm back. Your ex-fake boyfriend and your current real friend, Finn. You wanted to talk to me? I just wanted to let you know I gave the bracelets to Ivy. The chicken crisp bracelets? We won't be needing them anymore. <laughs> Those were not yours to give away. Have a good summer. So, I have something for you guys, but you have to promise not to like laugh or anything. I definitely can't promise that. What is it? My cousin gave me these. Apparently it's a thing at Attaway. I don't know if we'll all still be dancing next year or if we'll even get along next year, but <laughs> I do know that you three are the best friends I've ever had. And I don't know about you, but I think this town could really use some new chicken girls. These are actually really cool. Chicken girls, I like the sound of that. Well, I gotta head out, chicken girls, but I'll see you guys later. Oh, wait up. I wanna show you this really cool new blended routine I found. So, tell me, how is it training with Ben? It's like we're kids again. AKA, it's totally bonkers, but I'm enjoying it, though. Families are so weird. I wish I knew what that felt like. But you do. Do you want to come over for dinner tonight? My parents would love to have you over again. Sure, I'll text Clint. So, how is everything going over here? It couldn't be better. Now, that's what Junior likes to hear. What? Why do you have that picture? What do you mean? Do you know who that is? Of course I know what it is. It's, it's my daughter, Nellie Chambers. 